during the course of investigating my injury and the various uh, radiologists and doctors that I went to, I came up with this Birmingham radiological group uh, several times and it turns out that several of the radiologists that looked at my various x-rays, CT images and MRI scans they are members of this Birmingham radiological group and they are located at 2000 A South Bridge Parkway uh, number 300 Birmingham Alabama 35209 yeah located off the Red Mountain Expressway uh, just near the uh, the Birmingham Zoo and the Highway 280 and uh, Highway 31 exit in Birmingham Alabama yeah I just mentioned the radiologists that were involved in diagnosing uh, my various uh, scans in uh, in the course of several uh, emergency room hospital visits uh, mainly at uh, St. Vincent's East Hospital Ascension and this is in uh, Birmingham Alabama Julian Patrick Druhan and I'll list the their profile on this uh, Birmingham radiological group website all right, so one thing you'll notice uh, interesting here, and I'll point this out, uh, after uh, having uh, dealt with this situation uh, for some number of years and, um, and seen a lot of the tactics and, um, and various uh, strategies that these um, professional uh, doctors employ, uh, one thing that I've seen again and again is uh, their name often changes. Uh, the spelling uh, the presentation of their name it changes and why is this and uh, yeah, if you take a look at uh, what happened to me you might be able to come to some interesting conclusions alright so I'll show where uh, Julian Patrick Drewhan's name appears on the x-ray diagnosis the CT diagnosis uh, you can see here it's different on this uh, website uh, why is this so it's Drewhan J Patrick on the Birmingham radiological group website yeah Julian Patrick Drewhan he looked at a 2018 x-ray scan that I had done and uh, and basically uh, a small area of arthritis was noted uh, but I was told by the emergency room uh, doctors and nurses that, uh, that I had no injury. I was good to go to go home. And I had uh, basically just uh, pulled a neck muscle. So I went and got, I knew this was uh, incorrect because uh, my neck felt like it was broken. All right. And um, I went and got my records from St. Vincent's East Hospital uh, as a patient. And I found in my own records uh, there were some contradictions. Uh, in the 2018 x-ray that I had done that was looked at by Julian Patrick Drewhan, uh, there were 10 images taken. And, um, but according uh, to the records and on the disc that I received with all my images and uh, the report and analysis, uh, there are three images missing. And why is this? And uh, I went back to St. Vincent's East Hospital, Ascension, Birmingham, Alabama, uh, on 422-19, where I had a CT scan without contrast. Also, this was examined by Dr. Julian Patrick Drewhan, radiologist member of the Birmingham Radiological Group. And, uh, and he noted uh, no acute finding. And uh, I'll put up uh, the images that I went and got from the hospital which show my injury that was not noted repeatedly by these uh, doctors. The 422 scan, uh, computer tomography without contrast, you can see that the underside of my skull in the basilar area of my skull, this is broken. 
And uh, what happened was basically a pebble-sized piece of bone uh, broke off the underside of my skull. And the fluid uh, inside my skull, between my brain and my skull, it leaked out. And because I was repeatedly misdiagnosed by these doctors and hospitals, I almost died in the summer uh, 2019. Uh, it became infected uh, and infested by what I later uh, found out were parasite worms. And um, you can see the parasites in the CT and MRI pictures. I'll put them up here so you can see them. I'm recording this July 3rd, 2021. So I've had some time. Uh, I've uh, recovered very slowly from this injury uh, over the course of uh, three years. And um, very slowly I'm recovering. Uh, I have not led a normal life uh, since uh, July 2018. And uh, I believe I had a, a stroke, possibly a brainstem stroke. Uh, and uh, I broke the underside of my skull in the area of the occipital condyle condylar canal. I'm a patient. I went to the hospital, went to doctors. I uh, was misdiagnosed. Uh, for one reason or another and this is a question that remains open and uh, I went and got my own records and I found out my injury and I had to uh, do my own research to find out what happened to me on my own as a patient so I am not happy about what happened to me uh, I believe that I was lied to by these doctors and, uh, and I may have been a victim of patient dumping a violation of EMTALA E-M-T-A-L-A, this is United States Federal Law. And this law states that when you go to an emergency department in the United States of America, the emergency room doctors in the hospital, it is their obligation, according to law, to treat you based on your injury. And what I found happened to me uh, repeatedly was that uh, I was misdiagnosed and basically told my injury was substantially less than what I later found out that it was. And I believe that this uh, tactic was used to circumvent complying with this law because the injury that I had, this was a very serious injury. And I've showed here so far where uh, 2018, looks like images were missing from my initial x-ray. In 2019, 422, the CT scan, I was told that um, I had again uh, strained a, a muscle and uh, yeah, I knew this was incorrect. It felt like my neck was broken. I went and got my records from St. Vincent's East Hospital Ascension. Uh, these uh, CT images were analyzed uh, by Dr. Julian Patrick Drewhan, MD, radiologist. And in the images that I got, I'll put them up here, you can see clearly where uh, there's broken bone on the underside of my skull. I had uh, serious head trauma, and it was becoming infected at this point, possibly uh, the parasites had started to grow in this area.